right, math students. Now, one of the more challenging things about um, the course is not actually the mathematics, not to say that the mathematics are easy and are not challenging, because I know they are, but one of the challenging things that comes um, with doing math online is you do have to be able to type your math out. Now, this isn't a problem you run into, into as much if you're taking math on ground, because you can write it on a piece of paper and hand it into your instructor. Well, a little bit hard to do since we're scattered all over the country, so we do have to use some math tools to help us out. So I'm going to just give you a brief um, introduction to just show you how to type some tools and some math things so that you realize where some of the more common ones are. First off, this is Microsoft Office 2010. If you're running 2007, it's actually fairly similar. There's a, there's a little bit different in just the way the aesthetics look, but the, the process is essentially the same. So if I want to type some math, I'm going to insert and I'm going to type on equation. And this brings up what we call the equation editor, or the equation tools. Now you can do all kinds of cool things in here. You can add a fraction. And it gives you a couple different options for fractions. Uh, most of us do like to use the first fraction. And we can type on the top, x, y, z. Um, we can type on the bottom, um, x, z. We can also do fun things like put this entire fraction um, in parentheses. And if you want to do that and you lose your equation tools like I did, highlighting the equation itself should bring up a little tab at the top. And if you just click on that tab, those tools will come back. They did not disappear forever. So if you want to add some parentheses or brackets, those are in the bracket section. And you can choose your, your poison, whether you want curly brackets, pointy brackets, square brackets, parentheses brackets. The choice is yours. The other thing we commonly will add are exponents. So if I would like to put an exponent on the letter X, I'm going to highlight the letter X and add a script. And I'm going to add a superscript for the exponent, and you could type in whatever you want. If you want an exponent on the letter Z below, you can do the same thing. And you can also add an exponent to the whole fraction just by highlighting the whole fraction. What you want to realize is whatever you highlight, that's where your exponent is going to end up. So that's something that's important to realize. Now one hint is I will give you for, for um, working with these and typing them out is you can copy and paste these and then just change what you were going to do. So if I was going to simplify the Z's, I would say... Um, that would bring down to three Z's on the bottom, not 43, three Z's on the bottom, and the Z on top would go away. So you can use that as kind of a, an easier way to simplify rather than starting from scratch and typing each time. Right. Um, I'm just trying to think of anything else you might possibly have to type, um, especially in week one, just so you have a really good idea of what's going on. And I think that's going to be about all you're going to have to type for week number one. The only other thing I can think of that you might be interested in using are, um, excuse me, If you would like to use the greater than and less than symbols, those are over under the symbols. So if you want to um, use those, they're not in week one specifically, but you're going to see them in week two. So be sure you're looking over in the symbols for those with the underlines. All right, so that's going to give you some information about typing math and just using some of the more common equation tools. And then um, we'll take a look at um, some of the math concepts that will help you out. Once you're done with your equation, last note, you can change it. It will go to the center by default fault, you can change it to be in the left um, just by clicking on this arrow um, and changing the justification. So you could send it to wherever you like, um, right, centered. Um, you could change it in text, whatever you would like to do with it. So that's something that'll help you out. And be sure to check out the other video for some help on some simplification and some math concepts.